For me, it's super easy though. It's like, the thing is you have like these days, like especially in regards to technology, where you have, what do you have? You have Facebook, you have Skype, yeah. you have WhatsApp, there's Instagram, you have Google like voice. I have an app called Talkatone on my phone where I can call any states or Canada number like for free wherever I am in the world, which is awesome. So it's like super easy and my boyfriend's a DJ and producer as well. So he's like, he's traveled around as well. Like he's, you know, he's used to that as well. He's seen that kind of lifestyle mm -hmm. as have I. And we're both so over it that we're like, you know what? I cannot be bothered to be a part of that. Yeah. Like I was in Hong Kong for three months. I think I went out a total of five times. <laughs> and I just don't care. I can't be bothered. And the last thing I need, I'm sorry, is like an STD. It's like, please do not yeah. come near me. But it's just funny because like these guys come up to you and they kind of give that, that, that like seductive look. And they're like, Oh, like, where are you from? And it's like, you know, 2.30, 3 a.m. I'm like, buddy, like, I really don't care. Like, yeah. you know, it's like, I have a boyfriend, thanks. And it's just for us two, it's so easy, though. Like, we talk every single day. Like, there's really no excuses. Like, people do ask me that often. Like, how do you handle having, like, a long-distance relationship? I'm just like, it's extremely simple, especially given today's technology. Do you find that, like, people, like, around you when you're traveling are respectful of your relationship? Or do you find that there's, like... Well, you're in a different country. I feel, I feel most people are, but of course there are the girls or the guys who are like, oh, you're like you're in a different country, like it doesn't matter. Or like, I knew one girl that was like in an open relationship, and for me personally, I uh, I had an issue with that. I'm like, I could never do that. I could that could never be me. Good for yeah. you, but I couldn't do that. But you know, there was just I even had like this one guy who was actually my my friend be like. Oh really? Like, do you really think you guys are like serious? Do you really think this is gonna last? Like, oh, he's like a DJ. I'm like, how dare you slap a label on someone? Especially because yeah. I know how it feels like to, you know, be slapped with the model label. Yeah. Which is, you know, a really like tough label. Like people, as soon as they're like, oh, she's a model, like, no, 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 mm -hmm. no. Like whenever people like ask my boyfriend, like, you know, what does your girlfriend do? He's like, he'll tell them like, oh, I model. I'm like, please do not forget I went to school. Yeah. <laughs> please add these things in because yeah. as soon as like, you know, there's like. That's stereotype, right? So everyone just, you know, categorizes you as that. Which is, like, the worst thing. So, yeah, it just sucks. I mean, it's, like, I've had some people, like, oh, like, you know, like, you're away from home. Like, what's going to happen? Who's going to find out? I'm like, well, morally, I just can't do that. And why, why would I want to? Mm -hmm. I think when people do that, I'm like, you know. In a relationship. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, because you love someone. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you've, I personally have traveled the world already. You know, from, like, a fairly young age. Well, at least I still think it's fairly young. And I've met so many people, and I've just, you know, haven't clicked with any of them. And I met this guy, and then we just clicked instantly, and it worked. It worked so well. Then we're like, why am I going to throw this away for a one-night rendezvous with some guy who's going to forget my name the next day because he's going to be too busy on top of some other girl? And I've seen girls have their hearts broken. I had this conversation with my guy friends there, like, who was modeling. And he was like saying how he's just like, yeah, these like girls need to stop thinking that just because I'm with them for one night, like that I like them or that I love them. Or one of my guy friends was saying he was like laying in bed with the girl and the girl like tells him like, oh, like I love you. And he just like looks at her. It's like, no, <laughs> like it sucks because, you know, girls get so much more attached. Yeah. And I've seen so many of them like their hearts broke it. I'm like, sweetie, you just you need to, you know, maybe set some standards as well. Like, yeah. It's, it's the worst seeing girls fall into that trap and into that pit, especially the young ones.